Hello, hello. Let's just wait for some people to trickle in. I'm super excited about this. My name is Ryan Casada, and I am the special guest today. What's up, everybody? AJ was uh, so generous to hand over his Instagram account to me for the day to promote some trans visibility. I'm going to uh, pin a comment right here so you can find me. Boom. All right, cool. Yo, what's up, everyone? I'm super excited. I'm really, really grateful to be here. It's so awesome when artists share their platforms with each other and to help lift up the transgender community. It's just a wonderful thing. So thank you so much, AJ, here today. Um, cool. So anyone who's just coming in, my name is Ryan Casada. <clears throat> and I'm, I will do some questions also, and I'm going to play some music, and I'm going to talk a little bit. So it's going to be an awesome event today, and I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being so welcoming. So cool. So I'm Ryan Casada. You can see the pinned tweet or tweet. You can see the pinned message, and you could click my page if you want to find out more information. But I will say a little bit about myself my name is Ryan Quesada. I'm a singer-songwriter. I live in Los Angeles. I'm originally from New York. I am an out and proud member of the transgender community, the LGBTQ community, queer community, a very beautiful, vibrant community. I love this community so much, and I'm so grateful that I have the privilege of being out and to be vocal about our rights as trans people, there is a increase right now in legislation all over the country, anti-trans legislation that is particularly uh, attacking trans youth. And that is very, very hard. I once was an out trans young person. And, you know, these laws that are coming out right now today are they're very, very bad and it's very dangerous. So please check up with the ACLU and find out ways that you could get involved, you could take action and you could help. And so, yeah, one of the reasons that I'm here today is because I wanted to share about that because we need everyone's support. We need everyone to be aware of the things that are going on. They're banning healthcare. They are banning trans people from playing sports in schools. So it's, it's really, really bad right now and all of these unjust laws are dangerous for trans people. It, it makes it hard to live and be out. It, it just makes it very hard to exist in this world. So please do your part, do what you can. <clears throat> I came out when I was very young. I started coming out as queer when I was 12 years old and then I came out as trans when I was 14. And it's been a very, very uh, interesting process. I came out on the Larry King live show and at a time when there was not many trans people out. So that is a little bit of, about my backstory and I got into activism very early and have just um, been doing it ever since. I have a passion for it and I wanna do as much as I can to support my community and lift up my community and AJ giving his Instagram over today is a very big help. Um, people are asking in the comments, how can you help? You could donate to the ACLU. Um, if you go to the ACLU's Twitter page, you'll find all of the anti-trans legislation. And there are tons of petitions that you could sign and pass along to your friends. I will also post some on my profile as well so you could find some more. But yeah, so <clears throat> that's how you could find, find all more information. And it's updating like every day, every hour really. So you gotta stay informed so twitter seems to be the best way to do that in my opinion and that's just how i stay informed um i want to thank everyone for being here i'm gonna play some music i know y'all love music so i definitely want to play some music and yeah check out the aclu uh if you want to learn more about these the legislation cool thanks for all the comments too all right so this song is called daughter and it's about my transition from female to male i was assigned female at birth and i live as male so with my dad i was his daughter and i came out and i was his son 
And it was a very hard process at first, but to any parents watching right now, if you have a transgender child, just know that that is still your child. They're not gone. That that is the same soul, the same heart. So uh, that's the message that I'm portraying in this song. so much and if there's any trans people out there just know you're not alone queer people you are not alone anyone that's living their lives on the margins you are not alone in the struggle that song is called daughter you can find it on all streaming platforms and there's a YouTube video, a music video up that I hope you will check out if uh, you're new to my music. That is probably the first introduction. I hope that you'll check that out on all streaming platforms. 
So yeah, I wanna definitely take some questions. So if you could use the question button, that would probably be the best way to do this because the comments are going pretty quickly. So um, I, I also just wanna say thank you so much for all the really positive comments and about um, my singing voice. That's cool, thank you so much. Um, let's see. So here is the first question that we have. How did you become a trans activist? So I became a trans activist actually before I even came out as trans. I started going to the Long Island Gay and Lesbian Youth Center because I was getting bullied in school. Um, I was 13 years old and they sent me to this center. So at this center, I was I joined a team called the Safe Schools team and we went into schools, high schools, middle schools, and we did conventions, conferences. It was super fun and we learned how to publicly speak and we learned about LGBTQ history. So I started going to these schools and speaking and then I came out not too long after and eventually by the time I was about 15 years old I started getting calls to speak uh, without the team so that's how I got into activism really just about putting myself out there first I was with a group and now I mostly am doing it on my own uh, I'm 27 years old now I saw someone just ask that but yeah it's it's been um, it's been a beautiful journey and activism is a very hard thing but I am so grateful that I have the strength to do it because a lot of people need help and you know I believe that if you could help someone you should all right uh, let's see let's get let's go to more questions what can you do to support the trans community well you could Get more involved by learning more about the trans community, hear more trans stories. Um, you could go on YouTube and watch YouTube videos about trans people. Documentaries are a good way to start as well. You could also help us fight this anti-trans legislation that's happening right now. Uh, go to the ACLU. You could donate to the ACLU in each different region, and they could really use your support because there are lots of hateful bills coming across the floor right now. And yeah, we could use your help. We really could, thank you. Thank you so much. Shout out to Brazil, shout out to Argentina. Thank you all so much for being here. Let's get to another question. Um, Let's see. A lot of people are asking about if I'll tour Latin America, hopefully one day, hopefully one day. So, oh. Three people ask the same question. What are your pronouns? That That's actually a very good question and I actually should have started with that. And I recommend that you start with that as well, whether you are trans or cis. Cis means someone that is not trans. So my pronouns are he, him. And I don't say uh, preferred pronouns. Those are my required pronouns. You'll hear the language a lot about uh, what are your preferred pronouns? But really it's about what are your required pronouns? And pronouns are just as important as someone's name for a trans person. So yeah, please respect pronouns. Ask people their pronouns. You could ask what pronouns honor you. I love when people ask it that way. All right, let's check out some more of these questions. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of questions coming in here. Okay, how did you start, how did your journey into music start? So I started in music very young, I was six years old. Um, I grew up listening to music nonstop. I actually probably listened to classic rock while I was in my mother's womb. She's a huge Bruce Springsteen fan and so am I. And yeah, I just grew up listening to Led Zeppelin and a lot of classic rock and um, in the 90s when I grew up around like age five six seven I was into all the 90s music including Backstreet Boys I loved Britney Spears Christina Aguilera so do y'all are you all into it yeah so the 90s music was amazing it was it was a fun time yes I do love Backstreet Boys um, so yeah I started I started guitar lessons when I was six years old begging my parents, please let me play guitar. They said, you're too small. 
and a guitar teacher at my school built a guitar that fit me so i got to play guitar and i just been playing ever since i love it um yeah and if you if you think hey i want to play music i want to do this one day you totally should i was really bad at guitar when i started it did not come naturally to me and i just practiced a lot anything that you practice a lot a lot and you're passionate about it and you just keep practicing you you could play too so don't give up on yourself don't give up on your dream all right let's see i'm gonna shout out to kyle who says they're my number one fan what's up kyle All right, this is an awesome question from Jack Finn. Thanks for the question. Who inspired you and gave you strength early on during your transition journey? So when I came out, not many people were out at all. It was it was pretty isolating back then, which is pretty scary and, and uh, lonely, you know? So um, I searched on YouTube and I found a few people, like a handful of people. Now when you search trends on YouTube, you'll find thousands and thousands of people. But back then that was not the case. It was a lot harder to find resources and to find people that you identified with. So uh, the people that I found were Joe Stevens from Coyote Grace, Lucas Silvera from The Clicks, um, Storm Miguel Flores, and uh, there's a lot of other people, not a lot, but a few YouTubers. There was a guy named AJ, there was two guys named Charles. So yeah, it was, um, it was a very isolating time, but those people watching their videos and seeing them play music just helped me to be like, okay, you know what? Like I am trans and this doesn't have to hold me back. And yes, this will be a hard road, but this is not the end road for me. It's not a dead end. So, um, as a trans person, I just want you to know that anything is possible. All your dreams are still possible. If you come out, that doesn't mean you have to lose what you love and you don't have to lose your dream. You'll still have your dream. I've been so fortunate to just be able to have a music career and be on the front lines and activist movements of the trans community and also be in movies and just do like a lot of things that I really love to do. And I'm trans and you know what? Being trans didn't hold me back from achieving all of those uh, goals. So they don't have, being trans does not have to hold you back either and it shouldn't. You know, you might have to work a little harder. It's a steeper mountain to climb, but you got this, trust me. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, we're going back to more questions. Am I into 2000s music? Oh yeah. I love all music. Like there's not that much like music genres that I don't like. Okay, so this question was about tattoos. And now I, I brought up this question because, um, you know, a lot of people don't like tattoos or they have, there's like a stigma around it. But for me, tattoos has been part of my transition. Tattoos is something that relieved some of my hatred towards my body. So getting tattoos, um, I would say, is part of my transition. It's part of my physical appearance. It's part of how I present. So tattoos have been very important for me um, to feel comfortable in my body. I'll show, this is like my favorite one, which I thought of the idea. And um, it's a pirate. Well, I'm super into like the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. That's why. <laughs> but it's a pirate. And usually pirates have swords in their mouth. But this pirate has a feather pen and a heart for an eye. And the feather pen means education and the heart is love. And to me, the, t the meaning of the tattoo is to fight my battles with love and education because I think that's what changes the world. Um, it's anti-violence, non-violence stance. That's what the tattoo means. So yeah, okay. Let's see, let's see. Thank you so much. This is, um, this is very, very exciting, and I am going to play some more music. And, um, yeah, I know y'all like music, and you can find my music on all streaming platforms. Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, iTunes. I'm up there. I'm up there on all of it. Hey, where's everyone from, by the way? Shout out your, um, your city. 
your city and country in the chat. I would love to know where everyone's connecting from. And for anyone who uh, just came in to this live stream, um, AJ invited me to be on his channel to take over for the day, um, giving me a bigger platform to help lift the transgender community, which is it's a very uh, kind thing to do. And it's very helpful right now because there's a lot of anti-trans legislation in the United States right now and really around the world. So uh, we're bringing awareness to that and also just celebrating, celebrating the trans community, bringing some visibility to the trans community. So um, thank you for, thank you so much for being here. So I'm actually gonna play a song that I wrote years ago about a hateful anti-LGBTQ bill in the state of Arkansas. Um, and right now the ACLU is fighting the Arkansas government over a bill called HB 1228, which bans uh, trans youth from getting the health care that they need. So, yeah, so support the ACLU in Arkansas. And this song is actually about Arkansas. I've been down there a lot. I live in Los Angeles, but I've been there, there a lot and I love that place. And I hope that it will become a, a safer place someday soon. Wow. 
thank you all so much. I hear my, <laughs> my dog howling in the other room. Of course, he loves to sing too. So yeah, thank you uh, for listening. That song was called Hot Springs, Arkansas. You could find it on my album, Shine, which is also available everywhere that they sell music. And I love playing that song live too, but that song is about anti-LGBTQ legislation, a lot about what's happening right now. Even though I wrote that song about five years ago, it is very relevant right now. And what can you do to support? Follow trans people, learn more about trans people, and follow the ACLU, find out what is going on with these bills and how you can get involved and help and take action. We need as many people as we can to stand in solidarity with the transgender community. So thank you all for being here. Um, so here we got some more some more questions coming in. Um, okay. This is a good one. What can we do to be better allies to our trans family? Well, to be to be a better ally, one, respect the name and the pronouns that your family member chooses for themselves. This is part of their identity and you know, it's survival. It's what makes someone feel themselves. And that's really, really important. And that's a big thing for trans people. So please respect name and pronouns. My name is Ryan and I use he, him pronouns. Ask people, what pronouns honor you? What name do you want to be called? You know, don't, and don't ask someone what was their, what was your previous name? That's not a good question to ask. It's offensive. Um, other things that you can do really is about listening a lot. You know, sometimes us trans people, we need events, you know, we go through through things on a daily basis and we need events. We need someone that will listen to us and hear us and be there to support a hug, you know, um, it's it's important. It's really important. So, yeah, um, please uh, put more questions in the question box and I'll answer as many as I can. But, yeah, that's ways that you could be a better ally. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the hearts um shout out to everyone here brazil is coming in strong i keep seeing brazil flags that's cool okay and argentina too that's really cool um okay let's go to the next one which is your favorite instrument to play my favorite instrument to play is probably guitar it's just kind of what comes uh, to me the most naturally, but I also play piano. Um, unfortunately, pianos are really hard to lug around to smaller gigs, so I can't always bring a piano or keyboard, but, uh, some, but I'm always there with my guitar, so. Yeah, when the world opens back up, come catch a show. See, okay. My thing froze for a second, but I'm here. Okay, let's see. Oop. Okay, we got a lot of questions, whoa. Okay, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? This is a good question right here. How is your experience as a trans person in the music industry? That honestly is a great question. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it's a steeper mountain to climb, but I've had a very good run so far, like starting out in my hometown on Long Island, I was very involved in the Long Island music scene. So that was a very fun time for me. And my transition seems pretty easy there. People were like very, very respectful about my transition and came out to shows. And, you know, um, every every type of person came out to shows, not just LGBTQ people, all different types of people. So um, that's been great. And then I feel like you know, I've been recognized a lot for my songwriting, and that's something that's very important to me. Songwriting is, like, literally my favorite thing in the entire world. So, um, speaking of, that's my ASCAP Foundation Award from Paul Williams, who is a legendary songwriter. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I've gotten some success. And, I mean, there's also been people that say they can't manage me because I'm trans, you know? So there's been a lot of, like deals that have fallen through and a lot of heartbreak as well but yeah being trans you know it's so so in the industry it doesn't like help really besides for like booking on pride festivals but it could hurt the career sometimes but being visible is worth it to me so I'm glad I'm out and also I have a Spotify playlist if you go on my Spotify page 
Ryan Casada, same spelling as my name. You'll find my Spotify playlist that I made, um, and it's transgender songs. It's all music by other transgender artists. There's a lot of transgender artists, so. Do I write the lyrics also? Yes, and everything I've performed today, I wrote the music, the lyrics, everything. Um, but yeah, songwriting is so much fun. Okay, all right, let's, let's keep going. People are asking me if I'm related to AJ. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, we have a lot of um, re repeat questions. Whoa, some of them are very small fonts for some reason. Um, okay, so this is a good question right here. How do you continue using your voice to help people even when you are struggling yourself or feeling drained? That's honestly, this is a very, very important question to highlight because you have to recharge, you have to do self-care. You, if whatever that is, whatever is therapy to you, is that like listening to music? Is that driving around in your car and screaming your favorite songs at the top of your lungs? Like you need to do whatever you can to rest and recharge so that you can be present and so that you can be strong enough because it's, it's not easy, you know? It's really not easy doing activist work and you have to make sure that you are recharged because if you get too drained, that's not good. So make sure that you are taking care of you yes shout out take care space take care of you take care of your space take care of you so you could take care of other people but you got to take care of yourself first okay yeah it's a very 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 important question so thank you for asking that all right this is a lot of questions thank you so much uh we have a lot of repeat questions so i'm just scrolling through um there's a lot <laughs> oh here's a good one did you come out as trans immediately or did you come out as something else before so yeah i came first i came out as bisexual and then as queer and then i came out as trans and i Came, before I came out as trans, I actually came out as genderqueer to my like really close friends just for a little bit to switch my name and pronouns. Um, before I went by Ryan, back in the MySpace days, I'm aging myself here. Um, <laughs> I went by queer kid, and queer kid, and then in school I went by my last name, Casada. So I didn't really go by my birth name uh, very long in my life. So I've spent more time as Ryan than with that, with my old name, so. All right, and yeah, coming out, like it's not a race, you come out when you're ready. If you're not ready to come out, that's okay. Come out when you are ready and when you feel it's safe for you. Um, like I came out really young, but you don't have to come out young and not everyone comes out young. Some people don't come out till they're really, really um, just much later in life and that's totally fine, it's your journey. So, you know, do it how you like to do it. Um, no, so anyone who just got here, I'm taking, I'm doing an Instagram live, AJ lended his account to me, uh, today to lift up the trans community, so that's why I'm here. Um, except daughter, which song is very important to you? Well, there's a lot of really important songs to me that I've written. I do write a lot of songs about LGBTQ things, and I have more music coming out that I'm really excited to share with everyone. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll play another song. And yeah, you could go on AJ's profile to see the post about this live stream to find out more details too if you're confused. When is my next song coming out? Um, hopefully soon. I wanna release something for Pride Month. Pride is in June, super fun. And it looks like we're, we might have some in-person Pride festivals too, so. Staring as you're talking, talking while we're walking, walking in the streets of San Francisco, dreaming of the summer where I own my 
scared to love ya, but got so scared I fell. Singing loud to show tunes, show tunes in my bedroom. Singing so loud the world shake. Got you under covers, oh boy what a lover. find that song on all streaming platforms as well cool so I'll take a few more questions here let's see what we got going on all right no AJ's account is not it is not hacked I swear this is not a hack okay so we have a lot of questions still if I'm related to AJ nope He's uh, being very generous and lending his account to trans people to lift up trans voices, which is very, very important thing to be doing right now. So that's what's, uh, that is what is going on. Okay, so yeah, so please ask questions with the question box. And um, thank you for being here. And sh I want to shout out Ryan Hernandez, who said, thank you for being an inspiration to me. Thank you. That's very, very sweet. V. Rocco Official said, God bless you in your voice. Thank you so much. Shout out to Raina Tay. Shout out to Hey Yanato. Thank you. And R-A-I-U. What's up? What's up, Royal Chief? Um, we got a lot of awesome people here. Um... Ari asked, do I have music on Spotify? Yes, uh, you could go find my music on Spotify. It's on iTunes, Spotify. It's on Pandora. It's on YouTube. It's on every streaming platform. So go check it out on whatever platform you use. Just search my name, Ryan Casada. You can find the spelling of my name in the pinned comment below. Yeah. Shout out to Noe Coin. Thank you for being here. 
<clears throat> so, okay, oh, here we go. We have a lot of questions. Uh, Argentina wants another shout out, so here we go. Here's a good question. How did your family react to you coming out? So it's mixed between uh, which family members. So my brothers reacted really well. My brothers have been very supportive throughout my transition. Um, my parents struggled at first, but they both did come around. So it was very hard at first though. But you know, that's a lot of people's families and some people's families don't come around, but I'd like to say, you know, have hope that they will. And the people that you do lose, just know that you can find your own queer family. You will make friends that will become as close as family to you, which I have as well. So that's been a blessing. And I recommend if you have a local LGBTQ center to get involved there because that's where I met a lot of my friends. And you'll find people there like you too. And I guess social media is kind of like that now too. Um, okay. Everyone's asking me to sing a Backstreet Boys song, which is really funny, but I was not prepared for that. <laughs> um, it's very funny, but yeah, I was not prepared. Okay, let's... All right. <laughs> Royal Chief says, there's always that one, are you a boy or are you a girl? Yep, that's been the question of my entire life. Since I was very, very young, people have been asking me that. I am a boy. And you also shouldn't ask people that. You could, instead of asking, are you a boy or a girl? You could ask someone, what's your name and pronouns? It's a much easier way to find out how you should refer to someone as um, very, very important. For some reason, I can't uh, sort through these comments. Like, I wish I could uh, see them in order, so it's really hard to see when there's new ones. Um, let's see. At what age did you start singing from Chile? Shout out to Chile. Um, I started very young. I started singing like probably like as soon as I could sing. Um, I remember like making my family sit down on the couch and I would sing like Christina Aguilera songs <laughs> to them and dance and stuff. So that was my childhood. Okay. All right. Whoa. Cool. Well, if there's any uh, final questions, I'll take them now. I guess you could leave them in the comments now because I can't actually really see the question mark thing. It's a little confusing. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everyone for being here and being here and, you know, this is visibility for the trans community and I just want to let everyone know, like, I am one trans person in this very gigantic community and I want you to learn the stories of other trans people too because my story is only one story, it's only one perspective. Learn more stories of trans people, listen to trans people and support trans organizations. You'll find a lot of them on my profile that I've tagged. So please follow me and find out how you could help more. Um, okay. So someone asked about my singing voice changing. My singing voice didn't change because I never took hormones. When are you coming back to Long Island? <laughs> Probably not until I'm fully vaccinated. <laughs> I'm from Long Island, New York. That's why that's a question. Hello to Portugal. Okay, so. I love like all genres of music, so I really don't discriminate based on genre at all. Um, but I will shout out one artist that I've been listening to a lot, The Sunshine State. Listen to her music, it's epic. I, that's actually my number one listen to artist this month. There's only three songs so far, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank everyone from tuning in from all over the world. This was really fun, and I hope you enjoyed the music and the things I talked about today. Please get involved. Help the trans community in any way that you possibly can. We really need your support. 
Okay, thank you all so much. Remember, stay true, stay you, and you can find my music on all streaming platforms. See you all soon. Peace. Thank you so much, AJ and Team AJ. All right, bye, everybody.